All right, I need to give my speech for people that haven't seen this deck before. One, if you haven't seen this deck before, you're in for a treat, because at some point we're gonna kill people on turn one and turn two. Two, people often ask very difficult questions like, Jeff, how do you beat that card that your opponent just played? This isn't a que this isn't an answers deck. This is a questions deck. And you ask your opponent the question, do you have the way to stop what I'm doing? And when they answer no, you kill them. And that's how it works. And sometimes, sometimes they have they 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 say yes, I have the answer to that. You go, all right, let's go to the next game. And that's just how it works. You just gotta, in the words of the greatest poet of our generation, shake, shake, shake it off and move on to the next one. The, the, the converted mana costs in this deck are a hoot for sure. The old, the old Fury of the Horde into the Infinite Brilliant Ultimatum deck. Alright, we won a bunch of die rolls in the SI League, so hopefully we lose a bunch of die rolls in this league. The, the mana costs in this deck are a lot like whose line is it anyways. They're all made up and don't really matter. Um, gosh, this hand's actually just really good, right? If we, if we draw, we, this hand actually has a very good chance to turn one. This hand, this hand has an incredible chance to turn one. If we draw any land or, thanks for the title update, if we draw any land or Simeon Spirit Guide, we kill them on turn one here. Assuming they don't have an Inquisition or a Thoughtseize. I prefer the other great pose who tells us thank you next. All right, three shots. Two shots. God, we're unlucky. That's so unreasonable. Ugh. <sighs> Woof. Woof. Mm. Brutal. All right, they appear to be playing Storm, which bodes well for us. Storm doesn't have a lot of interaction. So if we draw lanes here, we, or Simeon Spirit Guide, we can win on turn two. I apologize for our deck moving slowly this game and potentially not killing till the third turn. You know, I know it's bad, it's bad television. We're doing, we're doing what we can over here though. We could have hit Land Spirit Guide to kill on two there. Gosh, our deck is slow. Not winning till the third turn. What an embarrassment. We could die on their turn three here. We have we have made the pivotal mistake of giving our, our modern opponent a third turn. Generally, generally speaking, you want to avoid giving players third turns in modern. Like, am I am I even gonna get a third turn here? All right, and here's, here's the other part about Narset for people that haven't seen it before. Just because we're comboing doesn't mean we're guaranteed to hit. We could, we could brick and die. So, uh, hit me, Narset. All right, whew. Didn't, didn't brick off. Got it. So it's worth noting here, I hit this Omniscience, which actually makes me wish I would have kept one of the other cards instead of the backup Gorios. But there's a chance like my opponent was playing a Spell Pierce deck still, so I wanted to keep the second Gorios in case the first got Spell Pierced. Is my opponent conceding? Uh, they're by no means dead. All right, they were dead. We hit, we hit the end of the infinite, they were dead. All right, so I think chat's right that they could be on Drake's and not Storm. And I think if they're on Drake's and not Storm, I just click Submit. 
Do I want to board in Besage you against Drakes? How many counter spells does Drakes usually have on the sideboard? I'm going to cheat and look at the Star City deck list. Is it three? Is it only three? There's two spell peers and a dispel in this one. I'm going to sample the three from the top four. Two spell peers and a dispel. Two spell. And they all play and they all play surgical too, so I'm just gonna click submit. So surgical. Surgical gets us regardless. Um th this hand uh potentially potentially turn one, so we're gonna keep. My opponent, my opponent put me on the draw. Silly opponent. Silly, silly opponent putting me on the draw. All right, so we're going to spoils for a land. Actually, do I spoils for a land or do I spoils for a Simeon Spirit Guide? I think I spoils for Simeon Spirit Guide, right? So the plan here is spoils... Now I'm going to spoil for Gemstone Mine. Nah, Simeon Spirit Guide, Gemstone Mine, Simeon Spirit Guide, Gemstone Mine, Simeon Spirit Guide. What do I do? Is it, is it Simeon Spirit Guide? I think it's Simeon Spirit Guide. The goal here is to spoils into a mana source and then spoils past Narset so we can pull. Sweet, we hit the, so now, now if I draw a land for the turn, if I draw a gemstone mine or a city of trader or a city of brass, I win the game on turn one. Assuming no counter magic, of course. All right, so I hit another spirit guide. So let's faithless looting, looking for a rainbow land. Perfect, we hit the rainbow land. Okay, so. Now, oh geez, am I supposed to play around Spell Pierce? I could potentially play around Spell Pierce here. Are you supposed to go kind of slow and play around Spell Pierce? Yeah, okay, let's go for the turn one. Let's go for the turn one. This is, uh, this is the build your own Entomb setup here. Hopefully they spell pierce the pull from Eternity, and then we get them with the Spirit Guide. All right, all right, don't have a thing, please. Don't, don't have a thing, please. So this is our first turn of the game, just for reference. Just in case, for those of you that weren't paying attention, this is turn one. We have two lands in play because Gemstone Caverns. All right, they had a thing, look at that. Didn't matter what we did. All right, onward, upward, backward, forward to the next one. To the next one. Da, 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 da. I thought there wasn't force of will in this format. Thought force of will didn't exist. I thought force of will didn't exist, chat. Gosh, I've been I've been lied to this entire time. I just got I just got forced. What does this hand do? It doesn't do a lot, right? It like spoils for faithless looting and then pitches spirit guide and loots the Narset in a minute. Is that good enough? Is is land Narset looting good enough? It probably is, right? I don't know. Like this hand has, this is, this is turn one loot Narset into the bin. So that means I get four draws at Agorio's Vengeance. I have my, my two draw steps plus two looting draws. Like, obviously, it's not a turn one. I guess it needs a land, too.
down to five we go. Rampaging Narwhals with the brand new tier one sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Oh no, chat. Oh no. They kept, they kept, they kept six. We're going to get surgically extracted. All right. This is definitely a keep looking for a rainbow land. All right. That pitches Simeon Spirit Guide and then uh, digs for a land. How can you deal with a Danto as red blue? There's a blue enchantment that strips a creature of all of its powers and gives it defender. And there is an uh, entrancing melody that gains control of a creature that cost X. What GUI is this? This is called Magic the Gathering Online. It's Magic's older client that is 17 years old at this point. It, uh... It has a catalog of all of Magic's older cards. So the format we're playing right now has cards that cover the last like decade and a half. So I have this Narset in my exile here that I get to pull from Eternity back into my bin. So if we hit a Mana Source next turn, we can Gorio's Vengeance this back and kill them. Moto can vote for her next president. Yes, it can. Yes, yes, it can. I think we're getting Is It Charmed? Yep. All right, who's excited to die? No, I am. Wow, we only took one. We're so good at this. We're so good at magic. We're so good at magic. The league is still young, Marty. There's plenty of time to die to spoils the vault. Plenty, plenty of time. All right, Devin the Dark Lake Phoenix, do you have a free spell or? Wow, wow, brutal. All right, all right, I, I understand. I understand. How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everybody, wherever you're out in the world. Thanks for hanging out here today. My name is Jeff Hogan. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. If you find yourself enjoying my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the people that keep me employed here full-time. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without all of your wonderful support. Past subscribing, you can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. The Nerd Rage Gaming Championship Series is a $5,000 cash tournament series in the Midwestern United States. They do modern, legacy, and standard tournaments every single month. If you can't make it out to their tournaments in the Midwest, be sure to tune into them on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash NRG series. MTGOTraders.com will love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. And using code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on all of your singles orders there. BCWsupplies.com would love to help you protect all your very valuable Magic the Gathering cards and other gaming accessories. They do sleeves, deck boxes, binders, and all sorts of other fantastic stuff there. And of course, I'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hooklandia. I know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now, and I appreciate you choosing to spend part of your day here with us. Remember, if you are new and enjoying the content, make sure you hit the follow button. Following the stream doesn't cost you anything. I'll let you know when I go live and with what. If you want to see more of my content after I'm done today, be sure to check out my website and my YouTube channel as well. I cut everything up by deck on there, so it's very easy to find just the formats and decks that you care about watching. We are 0-1 in our league with the old Narset Cannon here, waiting for the next match to pop and see how that goes. My very first local tournament was my opponent killing themselves with Spoils of the Vault, and I was very confused. God bless. Hey, Yellow Hat with the Raid. Welcome to folks coming over from Nassif's channel. We are hanging out playing the very fair and balanced Narset Cannon this morning. We're going to be doing modern all afternoon here. A straight camping with the brand new Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a good Tuesday wherever you're at. 
Inspire Bluff, Serum Visions. Once upon a time, you would gamble your money on Storm off of the start, but likely, likely a, uh, likely Phoenix deck at this point. It could be either. Both those decks are, like, moderately popular. Scalding Tarn likely implies Phoenix a little bit more, just because a lot of the Storm builds tend to be fetchless. All right, didn't die again. We're so incredibly lucky with these, with these spoils. We've cast like four or five spoils and still haven't died. God bless. You mean unlucky, buddy wise? We do need to draw a land here. All right, that's kind of like land. I guess we would have drawn land plus spirit guide. We'd have gone off this turn. So next turn, we can floop our little piggy into play here. So hopefully, hopefully they tap out. Veneer, thank you for the four month reset there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. All right. If Narset doesn't do us dirty here, they should be dead. So we floop our little pig into play here. And her, her boots are made for walking. All right. Omniscience with uh, Enter the Infinite in play. Or Enter the Infinite in Hand is deterministically dead. So we get to go ahead and cast Omniscience. Cast Enter the Infinite. Cast Emmer. Oh, oh. Not for 15. Cast Emmercool. Start my next turn. We could, like, theoretically kill them with just Narset attack steps over and over again, but this is faster.
Someone asked about why not discarding. And the infinite says you have no maximum hand size until your next turn. So. <laughs> they wouldn't want you to, like, draw your entire deck and then lose your toys. Come on now. This, uh, this four is, like, pretty decent. Needs a Faithless Looting. Ho, oh, Moto and your Scrybugs. Let's, uh, let's move along here. I can't believe it's been a year. Thanks for all the great content. Thanks for re-upping your Twitch Prime for 12 months in a row, Chunch. I appreciate that. Have a, have a sword. Go forth and protect us from Twitch chat. Best, best moderated Twitch channel in aim. Do we actually think there's a scribe bug or are we memeing? Uh, why not a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B? I, all I'm going to say is, while we don't have any for sure documented evidence of the Moto scribe being bugged, we can only assume that the scrying code for Magic Online has been written with the same pristine quality that the rest of the application has been written with. So you can, you can derive your own conclusions from there, what that may or may not mean for us and the, and the scry feature. How many mods do we have now? I actually don't have a good answer to that question. A, lo a lot is the answer. So we're gonna do, so I know we did SI and we're doing this. We're gonna take a quick pit stop from the Degenerate to play some Traverse Shadow in the league after this one. And then we've got some Bridge Vine and some 8 Whack to wrap the day up. At what point is Jack going to be all bots just trying and failing to tell each other? Well, I don't plan to put on sub only mode anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, you can find, uh, I think there's over, there's over 30 decks in my deck queue already that are, that include cards for New Standard. New Standard releases on Thursday on Magic Arena, so my Thursday and Friday stream are going to be all Arena all day, so we can have a lot of time to play with new cards. Today and tomorrow I'm doing all Legacy and Modern on Magic Online, so we can get a bunch of non-rotating format stuff into, into the YouTube archives before we dive into a ton of Standard. Morning Buffet. This hand's not great. Thankfully we get a do-over. I wish there were mod levels. We definitely wouldn't abuse those to troll other mods. No, certainly not. That's definitely not something that would happen. So this hand doesn't really do anything, so let's mulligan. 
Would Dubious Challenge with Tristani be a valid submission for Modern? Maybe. I don't know. All right, I think this is a keep. So I'm going to go turn one, spoils for pull from Eternity, and hopefully spoils past an R set. And then we'll pull the R set. That's incredibly rude opponent. No, they don't do anything about stalling on Magic Arena, apparently. All right, well, there's there's the Nars set. So now I can spoils for Faithless looting and then loot the Nars set away and hopefully draw Agorio's Vengeance. The tough part here is that there's Agorio's Vengeance in Exile already here too. Are they playing? Please, cat. Are they playing 8-rack? Collective Brutality, rude. Do I spoils here? I feel like I'm supposed to spoils for Faithful Suiting, right? Because it goes to my bin that way. Is there a video of your standard Ponza deck from yesterday on YouTube? Yeah, everything goes on YouTube. Red, white, red, white, land destruction. So they can take my looting away here, but we'll be able to flash it back in two turns. We've been really good at resolving spoils of the vault today, or really bad, depending on how you look at Marty's offer to donate a bunch of subs if we if we kill ourselves. We're either incredibly lucky or incredibly unlucky, depending on the desired outcome here. One mana, one mana demonic tutor is lit. Now what the kids say, lit AF. Come at me. Okay, fantastic. So we cleverly here, you'll note, didn't draw Gorio's Vengeance this turn, but that's fine because we don't want them to be able to take it with a discard spell. So we've cleverly left the Gorio's Vengeance on top of our deck so that way we can draw it next turn. Sorry, I meant I meant th four cards down. It's four, it's four cards down. Right, we get two more shots at it here. Ha! <laughs> there's there's an Emmer cool in our deck. There's there's an Emmer cool in our deck. Which is a little bit awkward because I'd prefer I'd prefer to keep the Narset in my bin. So at this point, if their win con is mill, oh, they have surgical in their deck too, don't they? Awkward. We do have pulls to continually undo their surgical, don't we? Sure, sure. How can I ever get my Narsets back? That's that's incredibly unfortunate. Can't win the game now. No siree. Definitely, definitely can't win the game anymore. All right, so we need to draw land plus Gorio's Vengeance here, or Mana Source plus Gorio's Vengeance.
It's the longest game of Narset. We had a game of Narset Cannon last till like turn 14 against KCI one time because we conceded game one quickly so they didn't know we were playing white and then we boarded in Stony Silence and locked them out. It was really kind of funny. Stupid desk, go down. Please and thank you. We found our 100% matchup rate, and they've they've technically they are technically uh, shuffling a Gorio's Vengeance back into our deck here. So now there's three Gorios in our deck. Welcome to Thunderdome. Enjoy your stay. Don't mind, don't mind me. Just hanging out, waiting to draw Gorio's Vengeance. Uh, the new set's available for Arena tomorrow, the uh, the 17th. Sorry, two days. The 17th. 17th, Thursday. Oh man, can we just mill them out with their own Mesmeric Orb? Is that is that the line? I think the line is mill them out with their own Mesmeric Orb. Are there enough lands to cast things? Uh, we have eight mana, we have 12 mana producing lands, but four of them are gemstone mines. So the problem is milling myself intentionally requires that um, I have to take damage from the city of brass, so it's not free. All right, they mill the Gorio's Vengeance. Please archive trap me. Right, they flipped up Faithless Looting, but I don't really want to lose my Gemstone Mines to flash it back. And they did show us Extra Paint instead of Surgical, so there's a good chance they're playing Budget Mill. Because Surgical is actually a pretty expensive card of Magic Online. It was like 20 bucks at one point. I don't know what, it, what it's still at today, but it's definitely expensive at one point. Are they 50 on Moto? It seems really expensive. Now do I flashback Faithless Looting? I guess I probably should, right? Wow. That's that's a lot for Moto card. Okay. Um I guess, I guess we go for it, right? Because, like, if they have another Surgical here, the Gorio's Vengeance is, like, they're going to take my Narset again, which means my Pull from Eternity stay in my deck for longer, which is great. Die Harlequin with the 8-month resub. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Okay. <laughs> and the waiting game continues. Made it. We've made it to turn 11. It's a dark, scary time. Trigger. Uh, 
And I mean, like, if they don't get rid of Emrakul and pull from Eternity here, they're going to be in trouble. All right, they took the Emrakul, but they didn't take our pulls from Eternity. No. How do we beat Ensnaring Bridge? We don't, right? So now, now our only possible win condition is to mill them out. We could, we could end up not, um, we, we could end up never drawing, like all of our pulls could get milled over here. All right, they didn't, they didn't mill any pulls. They have 17 cards left in their deck. Ah, they milled all four poles. That's unfortunate. They're down to 11 cards and they're going to be able to Ferry through us with just the auto auto. Uh, Big Mama, Big Mama's in exile. She was. She was extirpated. Do I bring in Light Line of Sanctity? Probably, right? All their mill stuff targets. Just, just turn one them, right? That's the plan. Ugh. Yeah, you basically never board in more than three cards. You like pick one of your four cards in your board and you cut three omniscience and the spoils the vault to board them in. Have we won a match yet? Of course we haven't won a match. What kind of what kind of question is that? I'm I'm embarrassed that you would even ask me that question. What a what a disgrace. All right, so we have assembled a build our own. This is a build our own entomb here. Yeah, we have we have three two to league before. This one time it was like a Thursday. Get into my graveyard, pretty lady. If we draw Gorio's Vengeance, we can kill them. Well, you know, you know, no big, no bigs, no bigs. It's cool. Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. Should have known, should have known, should have known again. Do you have an extra pit? You don't, you don't. Here we go again. Beauty, 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 beauty. We have bricked and died. Do, 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 do. Why did we break and die? Do, 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 do. So we could we could technically keep going here. If we faithless looting into Fury of the Horde, we can keep going. All right, that's a uh, that's a Gorio's Vengeance. So I get to set up to try again next turn. So I get to do this. We actually we exile we we um Narseted past another Narset. So I get to try again next turn. 
So we failed to kill them on turn one. I know it's very embarrassing. Please, please don't make fun of my performance anxiety. Sometimes, sometimes you just get going and it's not enough. You know, don't, don't shame here. So we get to go float a black mana with this, play second gemstone. Shame, shame. The new house has been great. It's nice to have an actual an actual space that is just my office instead of like a family room slash office. Uh, discarding omniscience, can you still win? Oh, that's true. That's the only omniscience in my deck. Yeah, we can we can emmer cool and shuffle our stuff back in. Woof. Woof. That was that was rough, chat. That was that was rough. Sometimes sometimes you really just can't perform. Spoils for Carnage Tyrant. Uh, you can't name Abandon Hope in Modern, right? Because it's not legal. Abandon Reason is the best we get. They removed that now? All right, got it. Hot soup. All right, this is this is our match, Chad. I'm feeling it. This is this is the fourth fourth match of this league. It's our time to shine. It is our time to shine. Oh no! Oh no! I clicked play first. Oh no! Oh, what a horrible mistake! What a what a horrible mistake! All right, this hand's very good. Yeah, you should not open packs until after the update. It's fine. This hand's actually good. It, it literally says here in my chat box, choose to be on the draw. I wrote it, wrote it down. I told you, it's just, it's muscle memory. It's muscle memory. You're just like instinctually... All right, so do I looting to start here? Yeah, I think I looting to start because we may have the best chance to turn two, right? So now next turn, I spoils for Simeon Spirit Guide. And then we spoils past Narset, and then we pull Narset, and then the following turn, Migorio, so we're setting up to turn three. We can type in the timer? Of course we can type in their timer. Why, why wouldn't I be able to type in their timer? Magic Online is quality software that doesn't have bugs, like being able to type in your opponent's timer box. And, and that's just, you know, I, why wouldn't I be able to do that? 
You know, any as someone who's written software before, I really want to know how this text field that should never have anybody typing into it ever has the ability to click into it and type into it. That that alone tells you how big of a cluster there is going on. The feature, yep. That's how you input cheat codes. Oh no! Oh no! Our plan to spoil. Maybe I should have spoils for faithless looting. Yeah, I should have spoils for faithless looting. I guess I can flash back looting next turn. Can your opponent see what you typed there? Gosh, I hope not. We were, we were too good at not losing a bunch of life to spoils. Flew, flew too close to the sun. Woof. Where, where Menarsets be, chat? Where, where Menarsets? Turn three card and liberated with the five dollar tip. Thank you for that. You have assault formation. Bump mono black reanimator for legacy. Will do. Thanks for the support. All right, let's draw a Simeon Spirit Guide plus a Narset. It would be ideal. Good golly. It's 20 cards into our deck. Woof. That's, uh, that's a tough one. All right. Take two. Look at that. We broke a thousand people with the spreadsheets. Y'all are great. So the thing you need to realize when you're playing Narset is you're never against your opponent. You're basically always playing against yourself. Narset's biggest enemy is her own draws. Arena waiting room. I mean, it's kind of the Ravnica Allegiance waiting room in a way, right? Look, this deck isn't bad. It's just incredibly difficult to play. And if you read Reddit, you probably are aware of this. I'm not a very good Magic player, so I just don't have the skills needed to, to execute this deck correctly. It's not, it's not that the deck is bad. It's just that I'm bad at Magic. My deck's not bad, it's just hard to play. It's not one of those low IQ burn decks. Derpa, derpa, derpa. Insults, insults, insults. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Say, but hey, that's why we don't play ranked, because I'm not good enough. God, this is like Burton Cheney's jam. I wonder why he never played this deck. All right, I mean, the CM potentially wins very quickly. 
How do I feel good about my own deck if I don't insult other people? It's it's really a trying question, I know. How do you how are you supposed to build your own self-esteem if not by also tearing other people down? It's just just the worst. Swolo Baggin, thank you very much for the brand new Prime sub. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Yeah, you choose to be on the draw because four of our lands are gemstone caverns. Gosh, why are we so lucky? This is the worst. We need we need to spoil past an R set here. All right, so I'm gonna spoils for gemstone mine now. And we want to, we need to both not die and go past an R set. It was literally the top card. We act, actually exiled nothing, took no damage. God dang it, Magic Online. Good lord. What's going on, Fulgrim? Thanks for the 15 months. I appreciate it. All right, Narset plus the land, please. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it, okay? Won't complain. All right, all right. We've hit Brilliant Ultimatum. <laughs> when Demonic becomes Op without a scry. So I get to cast one of these piles, and in this case, Fury of the Horde. Get another, get another redraw with the Narset here. You can theoretically kill them without the Ember Coil, but the Ember Coil just makes it easier. If you were to recommend an energy drink and a silver and blue can, what would I recommend? Definitely Red Bull. I'm told um, the blueberry Red Bull is very good. It's what, it's what my people tell me. My opponent trying to figure out how to resolve Brilliant Ultimatum here. <laughs> Six months ago, you turned around... You turned down my request to do a... Punisher, modern deck with risk factor, demanding dragon. I'd pay for it. I don't. I don't think that's just. I just don't think that's going to be competitive, Rowan. 
Modern, modern's a really fast, brutal format. A lot of the cute cards people like to play in it just aren't good. All right, back to specific days for Standard and Modern. For this week, I am Socio Penguin because of the new set release. So, my, my Standard queue for the existing Standard format ran out of decks. And, and I want to do all Standard on Thursday and Friday, so I'm doing, I'm doing all Magic Online today and tomorrow. Next week, we'll be back to doing a little bit of each on every day. Is Devoted Druid still on a no-fly list? Yeah. It's just not worth clicking through. <laughs> Do I have any ideas for Dovin a new standard? Yeah, actually. There's a, there's a few. If you click in the... Um, if you click in the deck queue... They are in there. A bunch of them. Standard does release Thursday morning. Thursday, Thursday at 10 a.m. So I'll probably start a little bit later than normal on Thursday. I think I'm going to start just before it goes live or like just after the update happens. Then we'll open packs and import deck lists. The old, the old brilliant ultimatum chains here. Into the infinite. This pile, I would like to play this pile for free. <laughs> Cast with Omniscience, take an extra turn. And that next turn, Fury of the Horde will allow us to uh, Attack them twice. Watch them like Coco into Reflector Mage. All right, we're done here. Excellent. Could this be it? Is Walls where we finally get on the scoreboard, chat? I feel like I feel like Bant Walls could be where we finally get on the scoreboard. Feels pretty excellent, JVL. Not gonna lie. It's kind of kinda up there. Is your opinion that Blue White X should be playing Terminus these days? Yeah, I think so. Just Guy Terminus isn't bad. We played that last time. Is my opponent's deck a real modern deck? No, not really. My opponent put me on the draw again, sucker. All right, so we're gonna do the old spoils past Narset again because that's, that plan's worked out really well every time we've tried to do it today. At the risk of being someone who's living in a glass house throwing a stone, my opponent's deck is very bad. I could spoils two Narset. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that sets up the turn one, right? If this doesn't kill us, we kill them on one most likely. Yeah, because we go, we go looting and then Gorya's Vengeance it back. I have the Faithless Looting. Good catch. Whew. I'm glad this all came together. I was going to be a little upset if we didn't get to turn one anyone today. Get a little, get a little testy when we have to keep waiting until turn two and three. 
It's just, it just ain't right. It's not natural having to play a second turn in modern. Who wants to, who wants to play a second turn in modern? Not, not me, no siree. All right, Narset, don't do me dirty now. You're my gal. You're my gal. Hit me, dealer. Hit me. Don't you, don't you put that on me. Our, our Narset triggers have been really bad so far today. The, bo the boy just ain't right. All right, so we've got double Brilliant Ultimatum here. And if Brilliant Ultimatum hits Omniscient, that gives us another combat step two because we have Fury of the Horde in our hand. All right, enter, enter the Infinite is deterministically dead here. So we went, we've, we've won on the first turn of the game. Thanks for hanging out. Yay, modern! Faithless loading is great and encourages interesting magic. Yay! <laughs> Uh, all right, so we enter the infinite. We put um, we put omniscience back on top of our deck, wherever that is. Simeon Spirit Guide only generates fun and interesting magic. Yep. So they get to sort these into two piles. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this pile to play for free. We'll cast Emrakul. And then to not deck out next turn, we cast Enter the Infinite to put one card back on top of our deck so we have something to draw next turn. So technically, we're killing them on the second turn of the game. We just took the, the first and second turn in a row. Welcome to Thunderdome. Enjoy your stay. Ha ha! Without my headphones, I hear the touch of the reverb a little bit better. I actually got, I actually have some sound, sound panels that we're going to be, you can see all my snacks on the floor too. I have a bunch of sound panels that we're going to put up on the walls later. I have another box of them coming. Did I get a new desk? I did not. So, um, this isn't going to be my permanent workspace. This is just my workspace until the summer when we build out the new one. So, there is an unfinished room through past the wall to my right that uh, we'll be finishing into a studio this summer, hopefully. Coin flip magic, best magic. Yeah, yeah, so the basement of this new house is um, finished except for one space, and that space we're going to finish into a proper studio with, like, building instead of, like, putting a panel, like, these foam things on the walls to absorb noise. The walls are just going to be like absorbent material. Thoughts of the new 1-1 flyer in your blue-red tempo. The 1-1 flyer does not fit into blue-red tempo because that deck isn't instant and sorcery dense enough, but I think there will be a good Delver deck full of cantrips that plays that card as well. That got three more three more standard deck submissions while we're waiting here. God bless. No, 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 no! I chose to be on the play. Dang it, dang it! I was I was updating something else and I chose to be on the play out of muscle memory. Just the worst. This is, and this is rough too now because like I'm serum powdering away two of my eight lands. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> if, if I serum powder these, there's only three non gemstone cavern lands in my deck, but this hand's not keepable. <laughs> I deserve this. GG!
Mistakes, mistakes were made. I clicked, clicked the wrong one. The gemstones didn't make colors of mana because I chose to be on the play by mistake. Before anybody says, but Jeff, why didn't you wait to find out what they were playing? Shut up. We're not boarding stuff in. We're going to choose to be on the draw and we're going to like it. Mistakes were made. Talk about standard options for Pod Lady. Uh, there is a standard deck with Pod Lady in my deck queue. It is currently line 18. After I delete the decks we've played today, it'll probably be line 12 or 13. So bit.ly forward slash deck q for short choose to draw choose to draw choose to draw choose to draw like to like to kindly decline your offer to go first All right, so we're gonna spoils for pull for fraternity, and then we'll pull Narset into the bin and we'll combo on turn two. Read. All right, well that was that's a good league. We want to match, you know. Whenever whenever you win an entire match with Narset Cannon, it's really it's really performing above expectations. Really, really performs above expectations. All right. You know, we've been playing Magic Online for four hours and I haven't restarted it yet. Let's do that. Enjoy. Enjoy the beautiful Blood Braid Elf for a hot second. While we, while we relaunch. Whenever you attack with Narset, I feel you've surpassed expectations. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> Matt is so great pretending to be at the White House. <laughs> Oh, Twitter's wonderful. <laughs> Kicking Moto like the perpetual and 17 year old that it is. As a non-American, you don't get the reference. Apparently, Donald Trump paid to cater fast food at the White House last night. Cater fast food. There's there's a picture of, like, McNugget sauce in, like, the nice White House dishes. It's fantastic. It's really... It's, it's fantastic and depressing. Politics and your listen, we don't shy away from the hot button topics on this channel. We talk about things like politics and treating other people with decency and respect and how pineapple belongs on pizza. All the all the important topics here. 